All right, y'all, I did these pretty weekly last year, um, just reviewing the player stats. I think it was like towards the, towards the end of the season last year. Reviewing the player stats and the team stats. So we're going to go ahead and jump to that. Um, just seeing, you know, how everybody's doing, uh, what it's looking like. Uh, all right, so that's it. Derek Carr is leading the league in passing yards. We got Tom Brady at two. Colin Murray at three. That's surprising. I ain't going to lie about that. Uh, okay. That, um... Receiving quarter they got is pretty elite, if I'm being honest, bro. I'll be honest. AJ Green is a threat, one on one. DeAndre Hopkins is a threat, one on one. And you got your speedsters, Rondell Moore, and Christian Kirk in the slot tearing it up. You know what I'm saying? So uh it would be cool if you know they use Andy Isabella a little bit more too. But I mean, hey, four receivers is enough. So uh I'm sure he'd be a nice uh plug in player when uh if one of them ever get hurt. God forbid, but you know, just saying. Justin Herbert, fourth, Matt Stafford, fifth. Crazy. Um, uh, Pat Mahomes, Kirk. Let's see. I'm a guy. Sorry, all right, all right, all right. Trevor Lawrence. Uh, let's see who leading the touchdowns. Hey, Derek Carr, lucky in the MVP race, man. Oh, Tom is leading the touchdown. So Tom is 10 and 2. What? Very efficient. 68% completion. Oh, okay. Uh, best completion percentage. What are we looking at? Uh, let's see, Dak. Dak has the best completion percentage, seventy-seven percent. Teddy B. Teddy, bro. Teddy has been so efficient, bro. Oh my gosh, Teddy been so efficient this year. Collar up there, seventy-six. Kirk Cousins, seventy-three. Kirk, I see a Kirk. I see a Kirk. Baker, Andy. I'm surprising, lucky. Russ Jordan Love. When did he get snaps? I can't remember. That's pretty interesting. Very interesting. Dak is very efficient, man. Rushing yards, Derrick Henry. Oh my gosh! Again, he about to do it again this year. About to do it again. Joe Mixon. As long as Joe stay healthy, Joe stay in the top five. I, I, I kind of. Kind of, kind of believe it. Kind of believe it. Joe stay up there. Nick Chubb, Lamar Jackson is fourth in rushing. David Montgomery is fifth. David been having a good season so far. Same thing with him. As long as he stay healthy, I can see him up there. Uh, Chris McCaffrey, unfortunately, injuries hurting him. Chris Carson, hey, keep it going, man. Zeke, Zeke, mm, he's putting carries. So it's pretty interesting to see him still in the top ten with the fact that he's putting carries. Melvin Gordon, Dalvin Cook, Dalvin injured. Uh, give oh, they got Tony Pollard. Look at that. Oh, they right there, right there with each other. <clears throat> Imagine they have two 1,000 yard backs a season. Imagine that. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, they've been splitting a lot of carries with the Colts. At least I think they have like touches. I thought, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like he's gonna be the full fledged starter this year. Like, based off what he did last year, I feel like he deserved it. Um, but they just got a lot of mouths to feed. Cooper Cup leading the league in receptions. Devontae Adams, Brandon Cooks. Randy Cooks, man, fire. Uh, Cole Beasley, Mike Williams, Jalen Waddle. Ooh, okay, Jalen, I see you, Ricky. All right, let's see yards. Cooper Cup leading in yards as well. Man, I bet I bet TDs too. He got five. He's the only person I see on here with five. Brandon Cooks up there. Debo Samuel, Tyler Lockett with yards. Devontae Adams, Mike Williams, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, that boy, Tyreek. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh. No tight ends. Oh, Travis. The okay. Henry Ruggs, Christian Kirk. Got some. Okay, okay, okay. Brian Edwards. Notable names. Let's see touchdowns. Touchdown machines so far this year. Cooper Cup. Mike Williams. Oh yeah, Mike Williams. Red zone target for real. Adam Thielen. Thielen always getting in the end zone. Gronk, of course. Jamar Chase is, is a, doing this thing for a rookie. Um. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Notable names, notable names. Okay. Let's see. Tackles. We got tackles. We got Bobby Wagner leading the league in tackles. Bobby, man, still doing it. I don't know when he's going to slow down. I really can't even imagine it, bro. Eric Kendricks, Denzel Perriman. Oh, Perriman? He with the Panthers? The Raiders. Okay, I could have sworn. Okay. Oh, boy. Doing this thing. Foyer. Cole Holcomb. Cole starts? 
Why? Why I thought Jameen Davis? So th- this, what about Jameen Davis? I thought I don't know. Why I thought he started. I just assumed that. I ain't been paying attention. Like when I watch them, I don't, I don't pay attention enough sometimes. Devondre Campbell. Who Devondre playing for? Got thirty one. He playing for the Packers. Uh, okay. That Cunningham, Fred Warner. Fred only got twenty six. <coughs> All right, so who the highest? Who got the most tackles for a DB? Anthony Harris. All right. Let's see interceptions. Right now, Logan Wilson got three. I think well, he he up there because he got two in one game. Trevon Diggs got three. We are gonna see how. I ain't gonna lie, Trevon be making plays, bro. Um, we are gonna see how how long they hold this up. I think I can see Trevon up there in the top five towards the end of the year. Other than that, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from everybody else. But the way Trevon been playing, man. Look, look like he gonna be up there. Uh, let's see. What's another one? Let me go back to tackles. Can I see like first fumbles? Oh, sacks. There we go. That's a good one. Let's check out sacks. Who leading in sacks right now? Come on. There you go. Five and a half for Miles Garrett. Chandler Jones still sitting at five, so he hasn't had a, a sack since week one. Uh, Hassan Reddick at four and a half. Whoa, I have not been paying attention enough to him at all. He, I didn't know he had four and a half. Robert Quinn has four. Von Miller back in form. He got four. Daniel Hunter four. Javon Hargrave four. Matt Judon three and a half. TJ White three. Josh Uche three. And Aziz Ojolari got the rookie up there. He's been having him a pretty good season so far. Uh man, I don't see any other rookies up here. Let's see. I think that's it, really. Let me see. Solo tackles we got the most solos. Bobby got the most solos. Adrian Amos, look at that boy. Okay, okay. Eric Kendrick, Harrison Smith, Kendall Fuller. We got a cornerback up there. Oh, uh, let's see. Kickoff returns. Jamal Agnew has the best average. Be pretty good return. Let's see who got the most yards. Oh my gosh, bro. It's so slow when I click it. Khalil Herbert got eight for 201. Average of 25 yards. Uh, That's not bad. It's 25, though. Yeah. Isaiah McKenzie. There we go. 35. That's pretty good. Four for 143. Okay. Let's see. Touchdowns. I don't think I don't think anybody yeah, nobody has more than one touchdown. He don't oh wow. He's the only one with a touchdown. And I think that was on that um that was on that uh missed field goal return. All right, let's check punt returns. Deontay Harris averaging 19 yards only off of two returns. Devin Duvernay averaging 17 yards off of seven returns. Pretty good. Demetri Felton, 11 off of 11 returns. Uh, probably the best to get right there. Yeah. Devin. Hey, he keep it up. You know, you go take him one back. Let's see. Can I see touchdowns? Punt return touchdowns. <coughs> oh, we have none. Wow. Okay. All right, let's check out the team stats. The best offense right now in the league based off of what is it based off of? This is alphabet. Oh, it's alphabetical order. Okay. Passing yards. That's so opposite. The Saints have the worst passing offense in the league. So opposite of last year. Um, <clears throat> it's not like them at all. Raiders are the best passing offense. You got the books. Second cards. Third chargers. Fourth Rams. Fifth Chiefs. Sixth Vikings. Seahawks. These are all... all, all all quarterbacks, all these quarterbacks are actually not playing bad at all. It's reasonable. And at the bottom, at the Saints is the worst passing offense. Bears, Dolphins, Jets, Bengals. Yeah, all these teams have not been playing good. Have not had good quarterback play. The Bengals been okay, but not consistent. Like, you know. <sighs> Excuse me. In these three games that they played, not consistent at all. Jaguars, eh, Trevor. Ain't been too spectacular, but... Trevor shows some flashes of like good signs here and there, but it's not consistent. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I, it's gonna take some time for them to build that team. I, I think so. He's gonna have to be patient. 
Uh, football team, Texans. Okay, okay. All right. Let's see. What do we want to look at next? Who allowed the most sacks? Oh, football team got the best uh, offensive line. They only got three sacks allowed. Football team, Rams. Chiefs, Bills, 49ers, okay, Chargers. That are just, they haven't faced a really dominant front seven. It's one of the two. Jets allowed the most sacks with 15. Bears, 15. They just had nine in one game. Understandable. Uh, Browns with nine. But they had five in one game. Allowed five. Bengals, 10. I'm not sure how much they allowed. That game against the Bears. Titans, 10. Dolphins, 10. Jets got to do something, man. Real, very soon. I right, got rushing offense. Normally, Niners are up there. Let's see. The worst rushing offense is the Steelers in a book. Wow. Steelers, Buccaneers. Buccaneers was pretty nice last year. I feel like either they, I don't know. Maybe people are going to figure it out right now. But uh, they're about to play against the Patriots, and their run defense isn't that, isn't that good. So they probably get boosted up a little bit but uh got the Steelers Bucks Packers Jets Falcons just need them in like a, a I don't know I think they could use a better running back no offense to who they got it's just if they could well not nah, obviously O-line is the issue they got 15 sacks allowed so I can't really say too much about that Falcons Rams Chargers okay let's switch it around Best Russian team. Okay, Ravens, of course. Same team. Same teams. Same teams. Ravens, Browns, Titans. Cowboys kind of surprised that they up there. I'm going to be honest. But these three, uh, it's their bread and butter, honestly. Uh, Eagles are a top running team right now. That's, that's kind of surprising. Vikings, expected Broncos, Bills, Saints. Saints is like totally opposite right now as far as their identity from the past few years. See, most Russian TDs, the Browns got eight. Uh, it's normal. Niners got five. It's normal. Cards. This is somewhat, somewhat. See, who got the most 40 yard runs? Nobody has a 40 yard run? Oh, Giants. They got two. Uh, I bet one's by Daniel Jones. Titans got one. Most 20 yard runs. Ravens got seven. Wow. I bet Lamar probably got like four of those. Uh, rushing fumbles. Raiders got three. Receiving. This is defense. This is offense. Oh, have I not looked at defense yet, or am I tripping? I don't think I did look at defense yet. Yeah. Move over to defense. I'm not tripping. Okay. So, the best passing defense. Oh, let's see. Pass completion. The Broncos are allowing 52% completion passing. They haven't played against that many good quarterbacks, though, so it's kind of understandable. But they, their secondary is nice. Secondary is nice. Bills, 57. Panthers, 57. Patriots, 59. All right, let's swap this around. Let's see. Oh, the Vikings, 75. Ugh, that is terrible. Giants, 75. Jags, 74. Bucks 72. Wow. The Bucks. That's wild. Jet 72. Falcons 70. Seahawks 70. Chiefs 70. Eagles 70. Oh, y'all passing, huh? <laughs> Literally. Uh, crazy. Okay, so yards. The least amount of yards. So the. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. So the least amount of yards. Panthers 438. Patriots 479, Broncos, Bills, Eagles. All nice secondaries. I don't know about the Eagles. I'm kind of iffy about the Eagles. Like, their defense not bad, but they're not just, you know. Mm -hmm. Kind of iffy. Look, I got 70% completion, but then 500 yards. So, that means teams have been running on them as well. They've been breaking them down. I guess they had one defensive game, and I thought they were just nice like that. Well, they had two. Okay. The first game and then the second game was, was pretty solid, but then it's just like, yeah. Uh, 49ers uh -huh. broke them down. Uh, let's see, passer rating allowed. Is, is, is this passer rating allowed for real? I just hit rate, and I'm, I'm assuming this is passer rating. This is crazy. 123.2 with the Lions. That's wild. Colts 119.2. Falcons 117. Oh my gosh. 
Seahawks 108. Giants 108. Packers 109. You get some efficiency on them. Oh my goodness. And let's see who got the best. Broncos, Patriots, Saints, Bills, Panthers, Bengals. Okay, check them Bengals out. Raiders, Rams, Texans. Oh, Texans secondary like that? A decent? Okay. I didn't know we really like that. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Uh, interceptions. We got the most picks. The Saints got six. Cowboys got six. Oh, the Cowboys get turnovers. Pats got five. Bucks four. Texans four. I think Texans got three in one game, so. Excuse me. They're going to have to up that. Uh, team with the most sacks. Panthers have 14. Wow. Browns have 12. Bears 11. Panthers have 14. Okay. Okay. I see rushing defense. Um, Most rushing yard. Oh, least rushing. Panthers defense is crazy. Wow. They're nice this year. Least rushing yards allowed. I think they were least passing too. Am I am I wrong? Let me see yards. Yeah, wow. Uh, who they been playing? I think they played the Jets. I don't know if they've been playing super competitive teams either. So I don't know. Panthers, Panthers, Panthers. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, they haven't. They haven't. Okay, so that's why. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see. If they can keep it up, they awesome. Kudos to them for sure. Allowed the most rushing touchdowns, Chiefs, seven, Texans, six, Jets, Raiders, Jags, Ravens, Dolphins, Rams. Rushing yards. So best rush, best the Broncos got a nice defense too. But like I said, both of these teams are teams who haven't really played a lot of super competitive teams. Saints, uh, Bucks, they run defense good. It's just the pass defenses it was not there. Browns, Cowboys, Bills, okay. Uh, let's see, yards per carry. A lot of the most charges. Ooh, charges down bad. So charges got the most five ten. Chiefs four eighty one. These are the worst rushing defenses right here. Chargers, Chiefs, Seahawks, Cardinals, Colts, Steelers, uh, Eagles. I thought the Eagles defense was nice. They fooled me. Uh, let's see, let's see. Fumbles. Worst fumbles. Cardinals have seven forced fumbles. What? They killing it, man. That's that's, that's nice. Chargers got six. Um, that's it, really. At this point, yeah. I don't think I, I, don't think I have much else. I look. I, I think I looked at picks already. Y'all looked at picks already. That's it. Well, that's the stats, man. The stats for this week. Uh, week three going into week four. So. It is Wednesday. We got uh, Thursday night football tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, yeah, man, I got too much to say. Uh, a lot of surprises here. Definitely a lot of surprises. Uh, but yeah, subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. Ain't no need to play games. I'm cool with zeros on this stat sheet. I don't care if you need Patrick Mahomes. Them lies you tell him won't be past me. If it's meant to be, I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that, then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it, part of God's plan.